dear subscribers and viewers, I would like to share with you another megalithic enigma. I was vacationing with my family in the Shenandoah Mountains in Virginia. Once every two years we like to stay at a cabin in the foothills of the Shenandoah Mountains. This time we stayed near Luray at Lambert Cabin. Previously we've stayed near Washington, Virginia where I made a video about the mysterious stone walls I saw there. If you haven't seen that video I'll leave a link. It appears on the other side of the mountains there are more of these stone walls near Lambert Cabin. As someone who's studying landscape architecture and some anthropology, I don't believe these to be modern. I've talked to a national parks official, she told me the current theory is they at least go back to the early settlers but there hasn't been enough archaeological research for the park to protect the walls. Looking more closely at the walls near Lambert Cabin, I noticed the country road leading back to the cabin is following the walls near a stream. It was very strange arriving at night on a bumpy road seeing this wall so close, you had to be careful not to scrape the side of the car. I would say the road was following the wall and that the wall came first. The owner of the land told us the sandstone walls have been maintained over the decades. I would guess the average weight of each stone is 60 pounds but some are a couple feet long, others are small rocks the size of a softball. There seems to be evidence of fractures suggesting the stones may have been larger. They have an irregular oval shape that does not show any sign of being carved or quarried. They are a dry stack wall. The walls seem to be also underground at least a foot, suggesting a footing. I would guess the stones came from the stream. There does seem to be evidence to say part of the wall has been moved on the other side of the to use as a barrier to the stream, also part of the wall has been moved to make a parking area for guests visiting the cabin, they used some of the stone as a retaining wall for the parking area. Right now the wall stands an average of 5 feet with trees growing through them. The owner of the land said the road used to be a Native American trail then a horse and buggy road. The wall runs about 2,300 feet parallel with the road with a few breaks in between due to other roads veering off to the right leading to other cabins. I would say originally the walls were slumped with a diameter of 8 to 10 feet. When the road was put through the stones were cleared and restacked making the diameter 5 feet. These are clearly not retaining walls. Possibly they could have held in livestock and act as a deterrent to predators such as bears, wolves and mountain lions. Militarily they don't serve much function against bow and arrows. One theory is that they were civil war walls. It is known some walls were used but there is normally a trench accompanied with civil war walls. Also most battles were not on the foothills of Shenandoah but more in the valleys and it would be more efficient to use logs for forts and trenches. Also the construction style was different. Civil War walls used larger more rectangular stones that fit together and they were not as wide. Many of the Civil War walls were taken down and reused for housing foundations and retaining walls. One story the owner told us is the walls were put up during the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. Young men would to see how fast they could build the walls. It is true the CCC build walls but those were on Skyline Drive and the style and type of stones was different. After mapping out the walls near the cabin, I would suggest these walls could be an irregular rectangular settlement boundary that may have had huts within the walls like those found in Europe. But ones in Europe tend to be circular. If this is the case these walls could be Celtic in origin, they may have sailed across the Atlantic to the Chesapeake Bay and down the Shenandoah River. These walls may suggest they settled near the foothills for a couple of centuries then went back to Europe if they encountered the Native Americans' mound cultures. But an archaeological dig is needed to see if any artifacts pop up, such as Salutrian arrowheads. When you drive around Virginia you'll see other dry stack stone walls which are modern but were possibly inspired by these older walls, so this tradition is being kept alive to this day. To learn more about these mysterious stone walls and chambers of New England see the video Secrets of the Stones and my other video on walls I saw near Washington, Virginia. 
I might make this my master's research project and send it to archaeologists in Virginia to look into these walls more to get them protected. Let us know if you've seen this mysterious stone walls in your area.